Well, I gotta know. What's mm -hmm. the biggest money mistake you've made? Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> where you wanna start? <laughs> <laughs> the five or six Lamborghinis I bought when I got signed up, I, mean, I don't know. It was like, yeah, it was all bad. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. wait, so what was your first car? I had a Buick Regal, but I will say this. I've drove everything but a hearse. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else on four wheels I've had. You drove it. Yeah, huh? I drove it. It's been mine it's so, for some point. What are you driving now? I mean, I have, I, you know, I, I joke about it. I probably got like four million in cars but nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't really drive like that. Like, it's, you can slide one my way. I, I can use but a car. I, 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 I'm, and I'm not saying that to be funny because yeah. I was telling one of my guys, I was like, man, you think I should just get rid of all this? Because I don't, I don't drive it. Like, I'm not, yeah. my lifestyle is different now and I, do, I definitely don't, um, value depreciating assets anymore mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying like it just it, it doesn't make sense to me like i'm not gonna go out and just buy another car now i might get a jet because of the way i travel and and maybe a boat because of the way i live you know what i'm saying i wouldn't have my having some docked in Santo pay or somewhere like that or capri you know what i'm saying yeah. like i can see that because that's that's how i live but as far as like depreciates depreciating assets like cars and stuff I just don't have my, you know, when you come from the streets and you had all that stuff and then you get into the rap game, you get all that stuff and you get into your grown man life, you just like, hold up. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. And I'm not saying that anybody else should live like that, but I'm quite sure if you're getting any type of money at some point, you're going to start to understand that you're just giving money to these. I imagine. Right. I imagine I've been there, done that yeah, situation as well. Yeah, just giving money to these, yeah. these, these uh, car lots and it's just like, it doesn't make sense. So what's the biggest splurge you've made since you made it? The biggest splurs I made since I made it. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, like splurs, like spend some money or just like whatever I spent the most money on. Most money on real estate. Real estate. Yeah, real estate. Okay, what about some dumb money? You just you just uh, threw that, it away, threw big money away. I mean, that was like in about '05. I'm gonna clear that up. <laughs> and that was in Magic City. They love me for it. <laughs> They let me for I wouldn't call it dumb money either, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Somebody went home. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. right, right. Well, my, man, my man used to tell me, we taking care of single mothers. I'm like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Well, GZ, what's the best piece of advice you could give to someone who's really just seeking to be successful and mm. how to manage their new money? Mm. Well, I would definitely say as far as the man money, managing the money, aspect definitely make sure you get people around you that you can trust because these people are crooks out here the lawyers the accountants they all crooks you know what i'm saying especially when you come into new money mm -hmm. just make sure you got somebody in your circle that you trust it might even be somebody that was in your family that went to college that can just gotta give you some game you know what i'm saying i'm not saying let them handle your money yeah. but i'm saying that you just need people around you because it's all about the team it's all about who's around you i got an amazing team i love all my people we built an empire together and we're going to continue to build them um, my advice about just getting money is just like, no matter how much money you get or, or they're offering, you know, always know your worth, right? Your price is your price, but don't don't sell yourself for for this money. Meaning, like, don't lose yourself in it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you know, money come fast and it go fast too. And if you lose yourself, you, you they always say, if you want to know who a man is, give him some power or some money. You know, and, and it, it don't work. It don't work for everybody. I've seen people get it and and, and, and lose control, and, and the key part is just always stay in control. 